Hi, my name is Anna Annex, and today I'll be cooking for you one of my favorites that is salmon roll with some baby vegetables, spinach, and some potato croquettes with lemon dill sauce. Okay, so these are my ingredients. So, of course, we have salmon for the salmon rolls, and some dill for both the sauce and as part of the salmon. And we have some lemon, russet potato, sweet potato, a few carrots, and we have some spinach. And here we have our kitchen staples, which is olive oil, eggs, and some breadcrumbs. And we also have salt and pepper and some whipping cream. Okay, so now we're gonna prep all of our ingredients. And now I'm just gonna cut all of the vegetables. And now I've already cut up the sweet potato and potato and, and put them for um, to boil until they're soft. And here I've also put the carrots in so that they're to the right texture. So um, now is the really important part where we start to prep the salmon. We can take some pepper, salt, um, quickly chop some of the dill. So just sprinkle it on and give it a flip. Season the other side. Now give it a good one. Since we're like rolling it, you really want the not so good looking side facing outwards. Okay, so now is the important part. We have to make sure that this salmon is rolled up really nice, snug and tight. So we can just start by lifting up the wrap, the cling film, and just pushing it. Sort of like how you make a sushi bowl. And make sure that you lift off the cling film while you're doing it. And now you want to twist the ends. What poaching the salmon does is it, well, it keeps all the um, nutrients in it. So it's extremely healthy for you to poach salmon than instead of, than when compared to fry it. Because when you fry it, it sort of loses all of its omega-3 and nutrients. So here I have the water that is almost to the boiling point. And we can just take the salmon that we've um, carefully wrapped up in the cling film and aluminum foil and we can let this sit for around 20 to 25 minutes until it's properly cooked and like moving it every once in a while so that one side doesn't get too overcooked. We can start with the lemon dill sauce. Take a saucepan and some whipping cream. The juice of around half a lemon salmon already poaching and I have the potatoes here, the russet potatoes, the sweet potatoes right here that are that are cooked and I've checked the temperature and the sauce has thickened out a bit. We can finally add some fresh dill. So now it's been around 20 minutes or so and we can take the salmon out. So here we have um, the potatoes that I've just roughly mashed for the potato crumpets. And we can add a little bit of salt, some pepper. We can roll them up into a neat ball and coat it in flour, egg, and finally the breadcrumbs. And now we can move on to the final part of the salmon. So we can just unwrap this. So now that we've unwrapped the salmon, we can cut it into little cylinders. We have the uh, pieces of salmon rolls that we've cut up and now we can just sear it on the pan just to get some color on it with some olive oil. So now that I've got some color on them, I can take them off the heat. Cooking the spinach. So now that the spinach the salmon. All I have to do now is to puree the, puree the sweet potato and and then I'll be done. So now we can finally get to the most fun part which is plating. So we can start with the sweet potato puree just and now we have the we have the spinach have the dill sauce. Okay, a little bit. 
finally we have our baby carrots. So um, this is how the final plating looks like. We have the salmon, the spinach, the vegetables, and the potato crockets. And this is a very healthy uh, meal because it has all the proteins and vitamins that you need for, for a day.